Hi guys, welcome to DIY Art Blast. So today I'm gonna show you how I make this wood burning art, and uh, this is my first time trying. So uh, I don't know what I'm doing. So okay, so um, first I bought this wood from Michael. So I uh, visit this Michael that we have here, and uh, they also have this thing right here. It's a wood burning. Uh, Thing. and as soon as i see this i really wanted to buy a wood so that's why i bought a wood earlier but um i forgot to show this one too also in a michael but guess what how much is it it's only 336 i mean i cannot believe that so i had to buy it so i bought this and uh let's just open this now so um i actually had to look on the pinterest for some ideas so uh this is actually inspired by a pinterest so um i mean i don't really know if i have a link or not but if i do i will put the link down below of uh, that that uh, picture but um this thing come with the three kind of a uh, tool no not three i mean four i'm sorry and there is three inside and one is already attached to that uh tool okay so um yeah it's very easy to use i just uh, plug it in and then um don't turn it on <laughs> make sure you use uh, something to take this thing off because it's a little bit hard and uh you can tr all you have to do is just try using like all of these and see which one you like the most all of these tools work differently for their own uh like different textures you want to get so i am also experimenting on uh on separate wood before i do it on my um on that other wood that i just bought and there is also this uh little stand to hold this uh tool but i don't really know how to even use this but um i guess something like this i guess but it's just keep moving so <laughs> but okay let's just turn this on and then see what happened all right so i just changed my location because my basement slides just boom it's just gone i mean i don't know okay so that's why i come upstairs and let's open my wood and then uh we can start again so when i was opening this wood uh, i noticed one thing that um the edges of this wood is uh, keep coming off and it's making a big mess um and i was a little concerned like how this is gonna hold up when i hang this on my wall so that's why i have to figure something out later but um yeah so <laughs> i should have used a scissor or something but still it was like very loose like it was keep coming off i mean i tried a lot uh to be very careful but it's just bare even if i like touch it barely like there uh, it's everything just come off but we will figure that out later so now uh i put this kid uh, i mean this tool inside this uh glass jar um if you are also using something like this i don't know maybe you you already know that it's it becomes very hot so use maybe a glass uh, container or something okay so now first i need to figure out how and what i'm gonna draw on this wood so i definitely am not good at it um so first time i'm trying right so i really want to have like little plan what i'm gonna do so that's why i'm just using a pencil and drawing some leaves uh, plants some uh maybe a sun there big one so that's why i use that little um container lead to draw that circle now i'm just drawing it whatever thing uh, i want to like draw here and just in case if you also want to make something like this um the best part about uh using this wood and this wood burning uh, kit is <laughs> you can put this wood inside or outside like you can also put this outside too like um maybe on a porch if you are making a bigger sign or something like that or um if you have like a maybe a farmhouse i guess i don't know you can create a nice big sign i i really want to make a nice big farmhouse size 
uh, sign up for uh, to sell it on my local uh, stores near here so uh, let's see how that turned out but let's see how i am gonna do with this thing here <laughs> all right so here i'm all done drawing this um, outline of the thing that i wanna draw here so now i already heat up my this little tool as you can see it's nice and burning and doing its thing so let's just follow over pencil line and go over this pencil line it sounds easy right but not really um so what happened is um whenever you are doing something like this have like a little scrap wood on the on the side so that uh, if you want to like try something out you can before you try it on your uh, like project wood so here's a little tip if you go a little faster you will get a thin line and it's gonna burn less if you go very slow it's gonna burn more and you will get a nice thick line so it depends what you are trying to do if you are really want to make it nice and dark line that like you want to burn it more and you want to make it thicker line um just go very slow it's gonna take its time and then like not too slow but as you do you're gonna get more idea so before you start doing this project or a similar project start making some of the like see how this really works on a piece of wood so i also learned one more thing is um, this works differently every time on different wood so uh, the piece of wood that i tried it's uh, it's a different than this one so um on this one whenever i try to draw something it's not making a straight line if that makes sense but if i try to do it on uh, the piece of wood that i'm working it's definitely making a, like nice and straight line so i i am so here i'm trying like a different um uh, bead like the different uh tools that come with this kit and uh see which works best and which not this one definitely didn't work for me so use the pencil one i mean i'm calling it pencil one but i don't know what it really called but you can use a pencil uh, tip one that they have in this kit that's the best one um if you want to make something uh similar to like this project so before I started this project, I tried all of these tools, how this work on piece of paper. But like I said before, it works differently on this new wood that I bought. Um, so that's why try it out. You just have to try, I guess. Um, okay, so I love this third one, third uh, bead. I want to say it's a leaf bead because it shapes like a leaf and um, this is a very good tool if you want to make uh, like a leaf something like this uh, isn't it so easy like this is so easy I love this one I am gonna make similar kind of leaf leaves um, on my this project but uh, yeah I wanted to say this that this one is also good for to make a like a nice long line so you will see in a second here i'm just trying to draw that small leaf but it didn't work on that too like either it didn't work on that too so i will try to um, use this one to create that nice long line for the stamp for my other leaves that we have here and I also forget to mention this that how much pressure I'm using here to be honest I am not using like pressure like I am not pressing it at all here I'm just barely touching it uh, with this tool so that's why it was a little bit trickier for me to understand like um, how much pressure I need to like add here but to be honest like I am not like pushing it at all i'm just like barely touching it all right so i am back to my original one the uh, original uh, bit the first one that i use a pencil one that i'm saying and this is the best one if you want to create any like small details this is a good one okay so um yeah here now i'm just following my pencil line and then i'm just adding it um like burning my wood here so 
and i know some of you are already like waiting for my other uh, step by step painting videos but i just didn't get a time uh to create another video like for the painting because i was doing my uh craft show here and i was uh, just making like similar kind of stuff again and again and again and again um like cards keychains and stuff like that uh so that's why um i just didn't get a time like to make another painting video but for sure i will be posting that new one very 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 soon um so yeah <laughs> thank you so much for supporting my small little like youtube channels here um i hope you guys are enjoying all of my videos and other new like a diy project like this one here um if you want me to try something different uh, i always like to say just let me know i love to try new things like this one here i'm using like burning this wood for this time and it's so uh, fun let me tell you so uh, as you can see in this um, video here i covered this tool with the like a towel because this thing is super hot and i cannot touch that hot thing so um that's why i wrap it wrap this tool with the towel and also use rubber band because it was keep moving so so yeah um yeah i was saying like if you want me to try something new just let me know i love to try new things here And here i'm all done following all of my pencil line now i really wanted to add some more details inside these leaves so i'm just adding like the center of uh, the leaves like that first and then uh, i'm gonna add some more details later so i recommend if you are doing something like this first time try to keep it very simple <laughs> um but okay so the next thing here i'm trying is to add like little shading uh, where the stamp and the leaf uh, leaves meet so here basically what i'm doing is starting from the center i mean the bottom of that leaf line and then adding these kind of little lines um and that's making it nice and darker like not too dark still like it's um light dark on that area so uh you can see a little different there all right, so i did that on all of the leaf uh, leaves that i have there now i'm gonna move on to this next tool and add this kind of leaves and i am very excited about this one because um, it looks simple right and fun so here i didn't draw a pencil line here because i it's very hard to follow a pencil line to be honest with this one with this tool so for this part actually i am pressing a little bit so that um i get a nice shape otherwise if i don't press uh i miss some part and it's not creating the perfect leaves uh, shape there so that's why for this one actually i am pressing it like that and this is a fun one to be honest let me tell you i love this tool uh, if like i want to make some something like this kind of leaves on um this project and it was so hard for me to stop so i was just keep adding more and more so i add here and then i am also gonna be adding like a couple more on top and yeah
and here we are done with the burning part now you can stop right here or like i said it's very hard for me to stop so i'm just gonna add a uh, nice this like bright yellow color on this sun area and uh, if you want to i mean i don't know i think about to add like a little green on those uh, leaves but i didn't add that i just add this yellow on um this sun here and um i actually am using acrylic paint now i know that not everybody have acrylic paint so if you want to use watercolor you can also use that but this is not gonna be as bright as um this acrylic color uh like okay so uh, i'm gonna also show you later i am also gonna be using like a little watercolor here uh, for some of the part and you will see the different what I really mean so it's a watercolor time now i actually am using this kind of watercolor that i have here i don't know the name like don't ask me because i purchased it when i was in high school <laughs> okay so as you can see here i use almost the same color and i am just adding on that bottom of that leaves area now as you can see in some of the area it's already dry and it's looking lighter than the sun so um after your watercolor dry it's gonna be lighter than what it looks like when you paint so i let it dry for a couple hours and uh only because i use watercolor so now i am using uh this thing right here you can pause the video if you want to see the product but um i'm just gonna apply this on um my wood like that um i did like couple layers here up and down first layer and the second layer left and right okay and uh, what this is gonna do is gonna protect your wood from water and uh, i also apply this on these edges of this wood remember it was keep coming off so now it's not gonna come off and here's my little garden i have some uh, okra some green chilies tomatoes i really wanted to show you i don't know i'm already outside so i thought let me show you that <laughs> okay and maybe some like yeah some cabbage there is like three cabbage there so i harvest some okra today uh, so yeah i'm just gonna let this dry these don't really take too long to dry maybe like not even like 15 to 20 minutes i guess and here i'm all done as you can see it's nice and sealed it's this thing is not coming off it's not going anywhere okay so as you can see it's, it's nice and shiny and i don't know if you can see that shininess in this video or not but it's super shiny um and it's become slightly a little bit darker than what it was after applying this uh coat of poly polyurethane and um I love this one i'm gonna make some more i guess let me know what you think i also sign in the back i don't know why but i'm not gonna sell this but um yeah i love making this one so let me know if you have any other requests you want me to try and i will see you next time for another diy or painting project bye